Hi everybody, welcome back to HiBite. I'm Tom and this is Zero to Pipeline, the course where we get you up and running with HiBite Intelligence Hub and making your first pipelines. Now, this being the first episode in our course, we're going to do where all, what all great tutorials start with. We're going to install the software. So come along, let's download Intelligence Hub and let's get it running for the first time. We'll take a look around at the files and open up the program. All right, here we are, we're jumping in now. We're going to start right here at HiBite.com. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is I got a couple options. I could request a trial, and this is really going to take you through the same process for us who are just getting started with this software. I could request a trial. It's going to bring me to this page where I can enter some information and request a trial access. Or I can go to my account login if you've already got an account. You can log into account portal. And you can either enter your account here or create one. Now, the only limitation here is we're not going to take free domains. So we need you to sign up with some sort of organizational domain, whether it be your company, your organization, anything else like that. But you can go ahead, create your account. And I'm going to go ahead and log in here. Essentially, signing up for that trial request is going to do the same thing. It's going to get your account created. And it's going to get you a link to your email where you can get here. So this is our account portal. This is sort of where we're going to manage a lot of our interactions with HiByte. Um, not our own Intelligence Hub deployment, but HiByte the company. And you can see the thing that we're interested in most immediately here is going to be the product. This is where we're going to download the software. Uh, some other things going on here, you can interact with licenses. So after you've purchased a license, you can manage it here. Uh, the user guide and the knowledge base are sort of where we're going to get all the information that we need, anything that doesn't come out of this video series. And you can also submit support tickets here. But let's go ahead and take a look at the download product. So I'll open this up. And you can see right now, I've got a few things going on here. Uh, we have a few other, in addition to just the Intelligence Hub right there, we have a few other things going on here. First of all, we also distribute a Docker image. This is not on a public repository, uh, but you can download this image. And if you want to host it in Docker, just import this as it is downloaded, and you'll be off to the races. Then we have three other pieces of software here. We've got modules to interact with Pi, Ignition, and Aspen IP21. So if you're interested in any of those as data sources, you're also going to need these agents to interact with your systems. Um, but we're not going to do that for this course. That's a little step, that's a step beyond. Uh, and as well, it's not complicated. I'm just going to try and keep things especially simple for this. So let's go ahead and download HiByte Intelligence Hub. I'm going to read this agreement. You'll have no idea how fast a reader I am. And I'll download. Bonk. There we go. So we're going to download that guy. Uh, we'll use the magic of editing and speed this up. Oh, maybe it won't take that long. And there we go. Well, almost. And there we go. All right. So I have just downloaded Highbyte Intelligence Hub. Now, there's an important thing here. You are going to have to run this on Java, on a Java virtual machine. And the easiest way to do that is with um, getting the Java Java development kit, the JDK. Um, and we would recommend Open JDK for that. So I'm going to take a quick little breeze over here. Remember, I said we had the user guide. If we take a look at that user guide, we can get here to the system requirements, installation, and installing Java. Now, I've elected for this course not to try and teach you how to install Java, because it does vary a little bit depending on your system. But there are plenty of much more knowledgeable nerds out there on the internet who would love to teach you how to install Java on your system. So we would recommend going here to open JDK. You'll need 21 or later. Just grab whatever the most ready, uh, recent ready for use is, probably JDK 24 as of right now. And you can grab the files here. And let's look up how to install Java on. And of course, you're going to have your cert, your um, free choice of operating systems here. So Windows 11 is where we are right now. Here's an article that you may want to use. right? So I'm not going to show you how to install Java. I'm going to trust that you'll be able to find a, a better description of that than I can provide you. Um, but once you've paused this video, installed your Java, come back and we'll pick it up with having downloaded Intelligence Hub. All right, so let me hop back over to that, get my folder back. There's my downloads. Uh, this comes as a zip file. I'm just going to 
extract it here. Bum, ba, bum, 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 bum. Perfect. And for the moment, I'm just going to work off my desktop uh, on this guy because I think that's going to be a little easier. I'll go ahead and open this up and we're immediately going to see, well, I'm going to open this up and then we're immediately going to see a few different folders here. Now, there should be three. And the first one, I kind of want to start at the bottom, actually. The, the first one, runtime, is going to be sort of where we, um, that's going to be the, the guts of Intelligence Hub itself. So that's where we're going to actually start and stop Intelligence Hub. And that's where we're going to see a lot of the, um, the, the like backend server stuff. Configuration, despite the name, is nothing for you to configure. You don't need to worry about this. This is just the web front end. So this is kind of just the GUI, not something we have to be concerned about. And then app data is everything we do in Intelligence Hub is going to land in app data. Um, so that's all the pipelines that we make, uh, all the connections that we make, all the you know, settings that we have for our installment um, or installation, excuse me. Uh, that's all going to end up here in app data. And there's not going to be much to begin with, but you'll see after we start this for the first time, we're going to get some more files here. Now to actually start it, once you have Java installed, you're going to go into runtime and We've got three different setups here. We got a Linux, a Mac OS, and a Windows. So whatever your system is, you should be able to run it here. Um, but go ahead and just whatever you're running on, I'm running on Windows, as you can tell, uh, go ahead and hit your start script. We get more info, and I, I trust this. We're going to run anyways. We'll give it a moment just to run through its startup. Bum, 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 bum. We should be seeing something here soon. There we go. Can take a moment. It's got to create a few directories and a few files like we talked about. And uh, you can see there, it started runtime. We'll also see here, it started at, um, binds all network addresses on this host, and 45245. All right. So in order to get there, Open Edge back up. Close some things here. We'll go 127.0.0.1.45245. Sure. Bonk. And there we go. 12745 We are in Intelligence Hub. Now we have a sort of default administrator and no password. You should change that as soon as it is relevant. Um, if you're just goofing around on the system, maybe it's not that big a deal. But once you're connecting to systems, uh, especially in production, or if you're you know, putting this anywhere where you're going to have multiple users, you should change that user and password. You can do that here under the Manage Users section, and we're going to talk more about this later on. All right, let's not get too deep in here because we're going to do a lot more of that later on in this course. I want to take just a minute and look back at these files. So here is where my start script is. If I want to stop Intelligence Hub, I can hit the stop script here. This is going to shut down things gracefully rather than aborting our run. And let's hop back up. Now let's go look at app data. You can see we've got a lot more stuff has shown up here. We got some secrets so we can, um, we'll save some uh, protected information here. Uh, cancel. Let's not get too into that right now. Um, and then really the one that we're especially interested in most likely is going to be this intelligence hub setting. Now we haven't changed anything, so that's going to still be as a template. But if I go back into my intelligence hub and I go into my settings menu, right, we'll be able to, let's see, how do I want to mess with anything here? Uh, I'm going to want to turn on my MQTT broker at some point and, um, I'm going to already, yeah, sure. That looks great. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to press save. And then I bet you, yep, there we go. Intelligence hub dot intelligence hub dash settings. So if I open this guy up, uh, I'm going to, we're going to end up over here. Hold on. I don't need that. There we go. So this is intelligence hub settings and you can see some of the stuff going on in here. So we've got, uh, let's see, where's our REST data server? Perfect. Do we have debugging? No. Uh, there's our settings. This is where our port 
is uh, the access ports configured. So if you ever need to get into anything here, you can always, um, and you say you lose access to the GUI, but you need to adjust some settings. You can come back to this Intelligence Hub settings file and you can mess with it here. Now, for the most part, you probably don't want to, um, but it is an option too. Now, if you want to upgrade Intelligence Hub, basically all you're going to have to do, because we keep this app data folder here, which has also got, let's see, there's your configuration. That's everything that's going on inside your Intelligence Hub. Um, thank you very much, Visual Studio. Didn't need all that. And right now we've built nothing, so there's basically nothing in here. Um, but this is a record of like what's actively running. So if you ever want to upgrade Intelligence Hub, really what you need is the stuff in app data and basically nothing else. Um, so what you can do is just download a new Intelligence Hub package like we just did, extract it like we just did, and then when you want to move all your stuff over, you're just going to copy and paste this directory from here into, well, here in the new one. So it makes it really easy to upgrade and update your system. Um, and you can just grab that. Now, if you want this directory to live somewhere else, you can do that. There's a couple ways. You can either um, have this version here with settings uh, and leave this folder and this file in place. And then right here, we can say uh, in directories, you'll see if we change, there's a way we can change this in the user guide and put in a directory there for where the, the real app data folder should live. Um, and if you want to not have that little local one at all, we have another parameter also in the user guide that will tell you like, all right, here's how you could put in where to find the app data when you start up. So we can move this around if we need to. It doesn't need to live on the same system, but um, you'll definitely want fast storage for it if you're going to do a lot of things in logging databases. And I recommend uh, trying to leave it here if you can. All right. So that's basically it. We now have run Intelligence Hub. Now, you probably had a few more steps in order to get Java installed. Um, but yeah, we can open this guy up. We can uh, manage our users. We can change some settings. We enabled our internal MQTT broker here. Uh, we could turn on our REST data server. We'll talk more about both of these in a bit. Um, don't forget to hit save. You can go in here and you can make a new connection. Um, we'll call this one Alan. Right, and here's all the protocols that we support. Uh, we're going to go through making some connections in the next videos. Um, we could, we're going to make some pipelines in the next videos. You know, you get a nice, uh, nice pipeline here that we can click into and start pulling down some stages. Maybe we'll get a nice trigger to kick it off, right? And then we'll get a couple stages here to connect. All right, so we can make pipelines now. We have access to the product. Uh, up here, you're going to see this banner. If you've purchased the product already and you've got a license and you've loaded it in, good for you. I have not done that. Uh, so you're going to see this unlicensed mode. Now, this is going to work for two hours at a time. And when it runs down, you're just going to get another little box over here. This is reset trial, and it's going to work for another two hours. This isn't going to stop you from doing anything. It's just going to turn off after two hours so you can't put it in production unless you paid for it. So... Throughout this tutorial series, I'm just going to be using the unlicensed mode. I think it's going to be simple. And I really encourage you guys, uh, if you're looking at this and you want to fool around with Intelligence Hub and learn the platform, go ahead, get it, set it up, use unlicensed mode. It's not going to cause any issues, and it's a really fun learning experience. So in our next uh, video, we are going to sort of get into this. We're going to take a little tour around the UI. We're going to start um, digging into a little bit of details, and then soon we're going to start making connections to data systems and building a pipeline to do something interesting with it. Really excited. I hope you guys are too. We'll see you there. All right. So that's it. We installed Intelligence Hub. Next up, we're going to get into the UI. We're going to take a tour. We're going to make some connections. We're going to build a pipeline and we're going to start fussing with some things, see if we can make something interesting. So I'm really excited. I'm really happy for you guys to get involved here and experiment. You know, Try some stuff out. If you have any questions, please contact us through that ticket platform, send us an email, any of that stuff. We'd love to hear from you. Take care.